she comes back and she gets a little moment of agency too, where she goes, mm. like, I'll cut you down, but you're going to cut the crap. Right. And he's like, okay, yeah. Yeah. Like, so, and you kind of believe him, right? Like, yeah. He's not just. You're like, okay, Scott learned his lesson yeah. here. He's not going to do that anymore. Right. And then she comes back and has sort of an ironic line where she goes, if you try that again, I'll kill you. Mm. It's like, oh, a little too late. That is evidence to say maybe she's Jason. Like, you know, if you want to, for the, the defense of Jason when he inevitably goes to court, both in the criminal <laughs> and the civil trial, I could see his defense team trying to pin it on Terry going, his slick lawyer mm-hmm. will be like, now you tell me why on earth she would say, I'll kill you for that. The only reason I could think is to, um, huh, let's see, I don't know, in, uh, um, uh, uh, allow us to tell you that perhaps you should have a shadow of a doubt <laughs> that my client, look at my sweet client over here, the poor thing looks like the back end of a malformed hen's egg. Could this little sweet puppy boy do the things that are being alleged here in this courtroom today? The jury stands up unanimously and says, we exonerate him. Thank you. <laughs> Shortest trial of my life. <laughs> Jason, you are free to... <laughs> Jason should have just waited until he got out of that courtroom. Dumb move on Jason between his lawyer right in front of a judge. I want to do the trial of Jason Voorhees. A two-act play. Yeah. A play in two nights. It's like the series finale of Seinfeld, where all of his different, like, victims and near victims come around. And most of them are the characters from Seinfeld. Like, he almost killed the soup Nazi. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatchet, more like, with yeah. these kinds of movies. <laughs> movies either deliberately kill animals or don't for effect, like in this film uh-huh. alone. Like, there right, is they a do dead kill a dog, dog yeah. but you think it's Muffin, yep. and it's not. Yeah. And usually disabled people escape this kind of right. outcome, but it's well, effective. It, it's like yeah. saying, this, this is scary because... No one's safe. Yes, and yeah. he doesn't have um, the same like regard we do. So if he's willing to kill somebody in a wheelchair, what's stopping him from killing uh, uh, Ginny? Yeah. Uh, like the... Um, uh, also, the, what we were talking earlier about, like, oh, it comes pretty close on the heels of the... You start feeling empathy for Jason. So it does put you in kind of a weird mode mm-hmm. as a moviegoer, being like, I started caring about him. And now he's taken the most like defensive, defenseless person and killed them. Now what do I do with my feelings about Jason? Yeah. Indefensible, you say. <laughs> oh, no. But I'll have you know that, yes, he is in a wheelchair. Yes, he lost the use of his two twin walkers. But did you know the reason why? He crashed on a motorcycle after having drunken his fill of the devil's swill. Also, <laughs> he took down a farmer's fence when he did it. Is this the kind of American we want walking the streets? Oh, excuse me, wheeling the streets. <laughs> we, the jury, without deliberating, have found Jason not guilty. That's two in a day. <laughs> Son, you are free. Oh, not again. <laughs> The hippie dies from electrocution. Yeah. No. Dumb. No. Any any of that shit, don't waste your time. I didn't come here to see accidental deaths that I could die. I could die like that any given day. Yeah. I got that on me. I want I sharp see, object yes. murder. I, or, I want some impaling. Yes. Not electrifying. The farthest I'm willing to go is batting somebody around in a closed sleeping bag. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'll consider it or slow roasting them. Yes. But yeah, there's a couple of these that'll happen throughout the franchise. And it's like, I don't want hapless accidental, like Jason didn't even really kill him. Yeah. I just kind of like lightly pushed him and he accidentally fell into the breaker, which is the most insane electric breaker setup that if you fall into it, you're immediately. Yeah. So it's like, I don't, I, I feel like this death count has to have an asterisk. That yep. is like, this is more of an accident than a murder. Accident than murder. Accident than homicide. You could, you could make a case in a court of law, exactly, right. that Jason did not intend to kill Chong. 
would a southern lawyer maybe come to his he might if he was paid his fair due if you could afford me your honor no this is pro bono my client jason <laughs> look at that sweet little face what a cute little boy do you think he had the wherewithal after living in the bottom of a mossy lake to know the ins and outs of AC, DC, electricity, <laughs> so as to, oh, I don't know, stage the death of a stone, by the way, out of his gourd on hippie grass? <laughs> Do you think my sweet little boy had anything to do with him? We, the jury, find Jason not guilty. I rest my case. Oh, I don't even need to. The, I did, sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I will be in my chambers. Yes, I have chambers as well. <laughs> oh, I love that Southern fella. <laughs> he's good at his job, too. He is. He def He's the goat. You know how Stormy Daniels, they all go to Michael Avenatti. <laughs> yeah. Tommy, Michael, and Jason all go to... I don't know his name, but <laughs> Friar. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I am also an ordained Franciscan <laughs> friar. If that doesn't up my credibility in this God-fearing town, he says I don't know what will. <laughs> <laughs>